What's up everybody? It's Vicious here. As you can see, I got my ass beat to death by Red Arcade. No, um, actually I had a very, 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 very humbling moment today. Um, I got a little busy and I had some stuff to do, but I came back home to finish what I started. Um, but before I left my home, I actually started playing Melty Blood type Lumina, and I ran into this guy, um, Airwisher. Oh, there might be a woman, who knows? Airwisher. I ran into Airwisher, and I ran into three other people. Um, I think the other guy's name was like Tiger Blue or something like that. But Tiger Blue had a coma, and he, they, we were all A+, plus, right? This is the first time I'm fighting like a bunch of A+, plus people. Um, not that I haven't fought them before, but um, they were all in the lobby, and it was a pretty big lobby. For me at least i don't like you know waiting that's why i leave lobbies more often than not but the coma he was really good i barely scraped by a victory with him and this red arcade actually fucking threw me to the back of the line um it was first uh, two matches to win basically because he had it set for two rematches only and man this uh, this room was it was pretty tough for the time I was in there. It wasn't too long I was in there because it was a lot of people there and I had to go do stuff. But yeah, this red arcade is the best red arcade I have fought so far, and that's no cap. Like their combos were just down to a science. Only a couple of things they might have missed, but as you can see there, they did that overhead. That overhead is my bane, you know. And I say that, but Shiki has an overhead, but her overhead you can combo off of it. Look how brilliant that is oh my god and that arc drive i swear to god it does not change its power st power strength it's um it's damaged it's it, i feel like it doesn't scale i'm sure it does but um i actually quite a, i dropped quite a few combos in this video and there's really no excuse for it um maybe because i keep playing with coma and i keep playing with other characters and i just lose my muscle memory a little bit uh, with Shiki, this is kind of a tight game for combos, um, depending on which combos you're trying to get off. But yeah, um, I am posting this because I had a sub ask me how I like to advance in a fight. And really, there's not a great answer uh, for me, at least. I'm better at showing than I am explaining, unfortunately. Um, so I'll just show you what I have right here. I like the hyper jump and I like to do C, I like to do B, depending on how the enemy is reacting. Um, I'll stay on the ground and I'll use a dash macro and I might throw out quarter circle forward A or B with Shiki because it has a pretty decent hitbox like that right there. See that? Um, I like to run forward and do that because it creates a pretty decent juggle opportunity. And yeah, defense, I'm still working on defense a little bit. Um, the moon drive version of the dp i'm just confused on when i should use it really um do i use it after a moon drive or i'm not moon drive yeah moon drive cancel do i do it after moon drive should i do it when i wake up it's not invincible you know um so that's one of my big problems but i discovered a use for my um another use for my four moon drive which is a slide move uh, you can actually jump cancel off of it if you haven't jumped already and you should be able to Hit the opponent that's in the air after you do the sliding moon attack You should be able to hit them with a jumping a and afterwards hit a again You know just in case like mash on that shit and you should be able to get a decent sized combo Only reason I know that is because I fought a s rank Shiki you know, that was nerve-wracking. Um, I feel like I could have did better against that Shiki if my nerves weren't so rattled. It's something about seeing that rank, you know. Like, this guy was a plus and he went to S. It was intimidating at first, but, you know, I'm trying to add all three of them, especially that Shiki, because I need those runbacks. Um, I got one match off on that Shiki out of, like, I want to say we did a total of four while I was in the room. Maybe it might have been six or was it two out of six whatever the case may be this cheeky fucking smacked me up and it was a humbling experience because i have not faced such good people on this game so far you know and i'm not trying to be cocky or anything 
I've been winning most of the time. Um, that's why I'm up at A+. I've only been doing player matches, though, because I'm not a big fan of doing ranked. Ranked is, is something that stresses you in some games and shouldn't stress you. Like, you go to ranked match for a reason, and that's to win, you know? But for player match, it's just a chill vibe for me. Um, anyway, would you like some commentary on this? I keep fucking up every time I hit the DP moon skill. Um, I should jump and I should do uh, hold C so I can get uh, an extended combo, but I always don't do it. It's just something that I do in practice mode, but on a moving opponent, there's like a psychological thing there. And let me know if you agree with this or not. When you're playing fighting games, isn't there like some sort of psychological thing between going from training to applying it um, in an actual battle? Because it feels like you just can't hit it, or it feels like you're doing something wrong or you need to do it. And that's the space I'm in. As you guys know, um, I made three combo videos for Shiki in a span of like really two days. And I, I did everything that I thought I could do and there's more. You know, somebody told me about what they had uh, discovered on um, one of my videos and uh, then I discovered, you know, that sliding tech from that S rank Shiki. And hopefully I can get some some um, some run backs with that person because I, I that doesn't sit right with me. I feel like I want to really be really good at this game and you know, I'm definitely fine with that person being better than me at the game, but I just gotta, I gotta get better, man. Like this. Red Arcade. Red Arcade was bullying me most of the time. Um, I actually ended up winning a little bit more against Red Arc this time around, but, um, you know, because we did like, I think it was like 19 matches. I think I, 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 I like won like 14 or something like that. Or maybe it was less. I don't fucking remember. Um, I'm still pumping full of adrenaline. But there's something intimidating about Red Arc. She's strong, and her combo potential is more than what I thought. Um, a lot of people are saying that, you know, this game seems a bit samey, so the characters are samey. No. No, they are not. They are not samey. Uh,. Uh, one of the things being said is the goal is to hit them and then start a combo. I would argue that that's the goal in any fighting game today. You know, that's been the goal since 2000 fucking uh, five, I would think, right? In most games. Yes, sir, Bob. Check this. See, that's a tech that I really like in this game. Gar not, I almost said guard impact. I keep wanting to call that a GI from Soul Calibur. Um, shield that shit and don't do anything. They try and uh, do anything to you, just just take it. Shield it and then fucking grab the shit out of them. That's what I like doing. Yes, sir. Man, I am really loving this game. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but this game is really entertaining. I'm really having a hard time playing other stuff right now, even though I got Death Stranding, Director's Cut, and Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. I haven't even gotten to a DLC, and look at all the armor you get from that overhead. That overhead is what puts Ark over the top for me. Now, her projectiles, her projectiles are great, uh, but the main problem with me is when she's up close, I don't know what she's going to do. Like, you see what I, I just did right there? That would have led to a knockdown. It would have led to just a knockdown, and with her overhead, it leads to not only a knockdown, but just a full combo. I default to that combo a lot. And it's because it was like one of the first combos I learned how to do. I fucked up here. Because I, I was thinking, man, I should have did an arc drive and now I'm boned. And, you know, the arc drive would have carried over to the next round too. But, you know, instead I just did that. There is not a scarier feeling in this game than um, doing a moon skill or doing moon drive and at the beginning of the next round you have no moon gauge. <laughs> That's why I said you gotta use your uh, two gauges as like an ecosystem. If you feel like you want to go into Nanaya mode, you better go ahead and get that uh, heat going. Get a heat going, get them in a combo, pressure them, and you know just get the damn job done. I don't know what I was thinking there. The schmicks. Yes, 
Yes, sir, Bob. Don't fucking grab me. I don't know why that's not working. Maybe it's because I trip her. I don't know, but that should work. It worked in the combo video. Maybe it's because I was delaying it too long. Who knows? Yep, just go ahead and use it. Be ultra powerful. Oh, this is a round I was super proud of. Throw that bitch on the ground. Yep, pass through her. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Check it out. Ooh.